Hello everyone and welcome back to more Dandelion Wishes brought to you. Why? We are back again. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. We are back in Dandelion. We are still in the common route, I think. I don't know up to what point it is that we get ourselves out of the common route and into actually romancing or focusing on one guy. But anyway, in the last episode, um, other than the fact that, you know, like leveling stats and like doing all the other necessary things, like my love, you can see like my femininity, beauty, and art skills all increasing, like, very slowly, but surely, but, yeah, story-wise, like, in, yeah, progression and story, um, let's see if I can, re I can remember this, because, let's see, it all happens in patches, so, like, sometimes, like, I, I kind of, I will tend to forget stuff, unless they're, like, really super important, but, yeah, so, I think what happened was the incident with Jiwu and the, the, Toe bean squeezing thing, like the animals, we we got the animals input on that incident the afterwards when Han, when eh, Hanny, I was gonna I was gonna say Hanny is like nameless, but no, when He Jung uh, went to sleep that night, so they were discussing that at that night at the night time, and you know they were just everyone's just teasing Jiwoo for it. Jiwoo was getting obviously mad over it because you know he's embarrassed and he's you know sundry like that. So yeah, that's what happened, and then also we learned oh, um, the fact uh, another tidbit. Uh, I think it was. Jiyeon, the little baby rabbit, disclosed was the fact that um, even though despite a month being passed, uh, having passed, and like they said before, how like after a month they are able to turn humans, but since a month has already passed and nothing still hasn't happened yet, they're still animals, uh, he said that um, I think Hee Jung still hasn't really, um, uh, as a character, not like us, as like the players, like she still hasn't really um, got any connections towards any of the animals yet like not as strongly as we had hoped even though we have two hearts with Ji Yun so far like she as a character herself hasn't you know hinted in any of her dialogues that she's starting to like really feel any sort of you know affection towards Ji Yun. The only other incident that happened that may like you know kind of hint that she's leaning more towards you know um having moments with Ji Yun and stuff is that um the part where the, they made a, the animals made a mess of her like a living room, and Jian was like scratching and like messing up all her books that had cost her two hundred dollars. But afterwards, when she got really upset by it, he kind of like you know nudged her and like apologized and gave her the little like kitty eyes, and she's like, oh, I can't stay mad at you. So yeah, so that was the one incident that she had a little moment that she had with Jian as like you know as a kitty and as a pet, and you know it. She kind of like learned to realize that, oh, maybe, you know, I don't have to be so uptight all the time. Like, you know, I can do things at my own pace kind of thing. So yeah, uh, yeah, the reason why, like I said, I don't know if, I don't know if I like already mentioned that the, the animals haven't turned to human yet is because Hee Jung hasn't given a sure sign of affection towards one of them yet. So yeah, that's why they're still animals. So yeah, we're still working on it, unfortunately. But anyway, so we had that. We also had the fact that uh, Hee Jung wanted to contact her mom or go back to Seoul to see her mom, despite you know her mom giving her such a hard time. But she's like, you know what? Like once I summon up the courage to like talk to her, then maybe my feelings will be reached to her. You know, being optimistic and shit like that. So yeah, she started to feel good about herself. And then I think she had a flashback on in one of her childhood dreams or something like that. I don't know, it was, I, thought, I forgot if it was a dream or if it was just like, I don't know, I don't even know, but like she had a flashback with her childhood and again it deals with her mom and how she feels very like trapped and caged when she's at home because of all the pressure that her mom is putting on her to, you know, be good at, with her grades and to study really hard and to, you know, comparing her with the other kids like all Asian parents do. So yeah, that's, she she had that moment and then afterwards, uh, he, he Hyun was we were at school, and then Ki Hyun was... I don't know, wait, even before that, before that, uh, I think it was a night out, and she was out with her friends for karaoke but then she wanted to go home early because she misses her animals. And when she got home, then she kind of just contemplated the fact that, like, oh, like, uh, maybe, you know, I'll keep these animals for a little while longer, even though she did say that she would have plans to uh, give them up eventually to the shelter. But she's like, nah, maybe I'll, like, y'all, like, keep them a bit longer, so that was it. And then afterwards, the next day, when she was in her art, the art room, with like her uh, junior he he J, uh, her senior Ki Hyun comes into the the room after like a visit, and you know tells and she tells them about how she's keeping pets that are rabbits and cats, and then the 
they like brought up the point where like oh cats and rabbits don't get along with each other because they're carnivorous animals and they're herbivorous animals and she started getting worried that they might be eating each other when she's gone away from school so she runs back home and she finds this scene where like Jian is all covered in like blood though she assumed was blood and she started freaking out because she thought oh maybe they're right I was so stupid to keep pet to uh, keep rabbits and cats together and stuff like that but it turns out it was just ketchup Jian got into ketchup and you know he got a little bit messy and that was it and so she took a bath and she like bathed him and all was well so yeah that happened and uh, we got the animals input on that as well nothing much just them talking about themselves and how uh, Ji was talking shit about Hee Jung, and then Jisoo was like, oh, but she feeds us and stuff, and like, he Ji was just like, but her place is so small, she's dumb as fuck, and shit like that. And yeah, just like, the animals just bantering and getting a more understanding of what her per what their personality is like. And then, uh, um, and then afterwards, oh, I think afterwards, uh, the last incident that happened in that episode was that G, uh, Hee Jung got a call from a stranger or some random lady who she thought was like, you know, like telemarketer kind of thing. But it turns out that the lady was really interested in like one of her bunnies, which was Jihei. Jihei the silver, the long haired silver rabbit. Because Jihei looks really exotic and looks really like foreign and shit, like a rare breed of rabbit. So the lady was like, oh, I want to see, I was hoping to get some photographs, like, you know, for Jihei. And maybe, you know, he could be like a model of the calendar or some shit. So uh, Hee Jung thought it was a good idea so she brought Jihei over to the cafe that she was gonna meet the lady at but then the lady started gushing and started ignoring her and stuff about how like you know instead of just taking photos like she thought she would uh the lady was like oh we should you know have him meet a little girl bunny you have a girlfriend and then they can make beautiful baby bunnies together and stuff and then Hee Jung was just like no I don't want that shit I'm not trying to pimp off Jihei no so she goes she's like bye bitch so she goes home with Jihei she's like yeah forget about it so yeah, I think that's where we ended off um, with that one last incident and story-wise. So I thought, uh, yeah, that was it. Sorry if it's still, like a long summary again, but just like a lot of stuff has happened in that one last episode. But anyways, moving on, we are still 10 points away from Ji Yun as I had last left off. So we are going to finish off with maxing out his point, his little um, uh, point meter right now, currently. So let's go out with him. Maybe find more stamps. I have been collecting stamps and such every single time I go out with him. So the only places that we can't, we really, we can really find stamps are either the park or the beach, and hopefully we get lucky. But yeah, let's just go to the beach and get, hopefully get lucky. So summer would be, would officially be over when this month finishes. I want to go to the beach at least once more. Jian, you'll go with me, right? Right? Of course you will. I suddenly had a thought that coming to the beach in fall won't be so bad either. Yeah, yeah, I should take all the animals that come to the beach in fall too. Yeah, why not? Even though the water's gonna be cold, stay out of it. It'll be nice though. Jian suddenly ran towards the water. Why? Chase after him, let him be. Oh, I think we have read this dialogue already. I just don't remember. Um, chase after him. I chased Jian and a big wave suddenly came towards us. Yay. Eat Jian and I are completely soaked. Haha. <laughs> Anyways, I want to look around. Give me my sta <gasps> stamps. Yeah. I got my stamps! Alright, yep. Stop. I ain't gonna pick up no dust bunnies now. I already got enough bunnies. So yeah, played in the sand and stuff. The wind was pretty strong today and made some big waves. We should go home now and wash the sand off. Yep. So yeah, the day's over. Day is over. And it is August 13th, a Monday. So I think we're still on summer vacation. Oh yeah, she did say last episode we already passed the uh, the last exam, which is a, the uh, the part where she was really stressing out, and that's when the animals made a mess of her living room, and she just kind of just you know shuts down kind of thing. So yeah, we're on summer vacay, so it's all good. We'll be reading magazines and taking our time, even though she's going to cram school because she's fucking crazy. Anyways, yeah. So yeah. I think we're pretty good, pretty good. 43 points, oh my god, we need like, uh, like, 8 more points, 9 more, no, 7 more points? I feel like it, oh gosh. Anyways, let's see if we can encounter Jion in the living room. Maybe on the couch somewhere. Hello? Let's nap. Yay, you cat of the orange cat, yay, hey, hey. We can hug it now, oh my god, we can like, hug <laughs> The way he jumps on my lap is so cute. <laughs> Jian jumped on onto the couch. Jian is playing on my lap. Oh, Jian is such a cute little cat. I know, he's so cute. Ah, oh, okay. Beauty moderately increased, stress greatly increased. Okay. Great stress 
greatly decreased, so I should say. Okay, so hopefully that gives us more points with Jian. And then we can continue on and then just, you know, do our normal routine shit. Oh, we got another incident. We got another story incident. All right, all right. Let's see what's what's up. Sonbe, what? What? Oh wait, hold on. Let me just catch this fruit fly. Oh god damn it! There we go. What? what what's up? What's up, Hija? Huh? What? I was on my way home when Hija called me from behind and handed me a black plastic bag. Why? What's what's that? Hija boya. Yeah, Hija boya. Usually what he did gives me in a black plastic bag is food. Ooh, food! I appreciate the food! <laughs> chestnuts? Ooh, I love chestnuts. Huh? Yeah, why though? Why the chestnuts? Where did you even find these? I looked into the plastic bag and saw that it was full of chestnuts. Yeah, he just said. Yeah, where did you find so many chestnuts? It's not the season for chestnuts yet. Oh, okay, then what the fuck? Oh, I see. Okay, uh, what am I gonna do with chestnuts though? I uh, Hijay's mom must have ha must have a habit of buying too much food, maybe. This isn't the first time that Hijay gives me food like this. But hey, I ain't I ain't gonna turn down some free food, alright? <laughs> I think it's okay. I mean, if he has a lot of it, then like, why not? Oh, what? We feed chestnut shells to animals? Really? Hmm? Huh? Really? Alright, alright. Okay, I'll feed, them I'll feed it to them then, when I get home. It's a little strange, I haven't really heard that myself, but yeah, okay, alright. Animals actually eat chestnut shells, right? Yeah, I didn't even know that. I've never heard of it before. But they will but will they be able to eat these hard shells? I don't know, they got teeth, don't they? Hey man, maybe I should use some of these. It sounds like a some next beauty mask I can Make it, make it too. <laughs> ah, see? <laughs> <laughs> you know them Asians? Yeah, we, we basically use anything herbal to like make us a facial mask and it's all good. Tannin contents? Really? I'm telling you, 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 I'm that perks my interest. Yeah, I should. Yeah, let's feed, let's feed them to the animals then. Alright, I'll trust. I'll take your word on it then, HJ. Thank you. Oh, tuck -tuck yeah, I don't. I don't know. Maybe you need to crush them like into teeny bits. Maybe not like huge bits, but like yeah. HJ thought for a moment. Right, that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Squirrels eat acorns too, after all. Yeah, exactly. So they, sh they shouldn't have a problem. Cool. Yep, I'm gonna use it for my precious babies. Gotta keep them healthy. What? What? Why are you hesitating now? What? Eh? Ah, yeah. What the hell was that? Alright. TJ hesitated as if he wanted to say something, but instead he just smiled awkwardly. Alright. Alright then. Will the animals really like this? I hope so. You know, because fucking Jisoo made me spend 30 bucks on like organic animal treats or cat treats. So far I've only given them pet food or vegetables. But it'll be a good idea to give them something new for a change. Yeah, exactly. You never know, they might like it. Yeah, I'm back with some chestnuts for you guys! The five animals rushed towards me. It's already 6 in the evening. Really? Huh. They must be hungry. Oh, sorry guys. Here. But I feel bad for just giving them nothing but a bowl of chestnut shells. I know, we gotta have some more substance than that. Perhaps it would be better to add other things to it. Things that are healthy for them. Yeah, exactly. Like put it in a salad or something. I opened the refrigerator and saw a lot of leftover ingredients. Like what? Oh, really? I never heard of that. Oh, okay. Oh, 
Okay. There are more ingredients in the refrigerator than I thought. Okay. Then I might as well make dinner for the animals with all this instead of giving them the usual food. Yeah, exactly! Let's give them some fresh, healthy vegetables. Yeah, my thoughts exactly! Good, we're on the same page. I should put in everything that's healthy plus the things that they usually like to eat. Yeah. I mix everything up in a large salad bowl. You guys are so spoiled, like, most pets just get, like, old basic animal food. None of this, like, organic oh, shit. Really? Wow, you're adding in aloe juices. Damn, girl, like, you're really spoiling them. <laughs> Chestnut shells, apples, carrots, yogurt, broccoli, aloe juice. Oh my god, they're just living the life of, the, like, a healthiness. Oh my god. What? It doesn't look very appetizing, but it sounds hella good though, yo. It may not look appealing to humans, but animals might like it. Yeah, maybe. You never know. Yeah, I put the bowl down on the floor. I could hear all I could hear their footsteps. Me, <laughs> so cute. Here, healthy food, yo! I wish I had some like some salmon to give you, but like I guess I don't I ain't that rich. Jion suddenly halted in front of the bowl. He's probably like, what is what the fuck is this like vegetarian shit? Why is he not eating? Well, maybe you should have given him some fish. You know, some filet. Is it because he's not familiar with it? I don't know, maybe. Jisoo, who arrived later, began to devour the food. <laughs> what a fat ass. Jesus. Ah, he's eating. The rabbit also strolled into the kitchen and began eating. Okay, so they seem to like it. What about Jion though? Everyone except everyone's eating except for Jion, who is staring at the bowl. Why? What's wrong? What a relief! I hope it tastes good. <gasps> oh no! Why are you choking? This is what you get for eating too fast. Jisoo licked the aloe juice and suddenly let out a strange sound. Or maybe he's allergic to G to aloe juice. <gasps> maybe it's not good for cats. Oh my god! Is is aloe juice good for cats? Is it okay for them to drink it? What? What's wrong? Maybe you should have Googled this first, Heejung. Oh my god, why would you even do that? I would have Googled this shit. Oh my god. Jisoo! Quintana? Jisoo, what's wrong? Tell me! Jisoo backed off from the food and continued gagging. Oh no! Well, what? What is it? The Is it the aloe juice? Maybe? Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> Jisoo now had his back on the floor, twisting his body and kicking his feet. What's wrong? Tell me, are you joking? What what should I do? Oh my god, do you know cat CPR? Jisoo! Holy shit. The rabbit seemed just fine. Maybe the food wasn't right for cats. Maybe! Maybe you should have googled this shit first. Oh my god, you're gonna fucking kill him. Well, the rabbits are still eating without a problem. Cause Ji was like, fuck that guy, I didn't like him anyways. <laughs> Jisoo, what should I do? Jisoo! <gasps> oh my god! Oh, <gasps> Jiwoo's body suddenly stiff. Why is everyone dying? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Uh, his face turned blue and he collapsed onto the floor. Oh my god, is it an allergy that I didn't know about? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just killing my pets, all my pets in one go. Holy shit. Both Jisoo and Jiwoo have gotten sick. Oh my, what? who do I help first? I don't know, girl. You're just standing there, just crouched like, what the fuck are you doing? What, what happened? What is the problem? Chestnut shells? Aloe juice? I don't know. Or is it the yogurt? I have no idea, girl. Maybe it's- oh my god. I don't know, girl, but sitting on your knees like that isn't gonna help nobody. I couldn't figure out what caused the problem since I put in so many different ingredients. It seems both Jiwoo and Jisoo- It seems both Jisoo and Jiwoo ate from everything in the bowl. I should take care of Jisoo first, he's throwing up, but wait, Jiwoo passed out. <gasps> but Jisoo's throwing up, oh my god, everyone's starting into fucking roadkill right now without the car. No, what did you do? <laughs> no, before that. <laughs> yeah, stop eating, no, 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 yeah, we don't need any more you guys think ending up like them. Oh my god, I picked up the salad bowl from the floor. There must be no more, ca there must be no more casualties. Oh my god, Heejung, you... <sighs> God damn it, Heejung. My food experiment ended up costing me one cat and one rabbit. Strangely, Jihei and Jiyun seem fine. What? Though. Jisoo-ya! Jiwoo-ya! Oh my god, girl, what now? I don't know. How am I supposed to know? I couldn't figure out the reason for this. Oh my god. Hello? <laughs> Is that what? We're gonna end it there? Holy shit! 
What do we do? Oh, okay. We're, we're continuing the incident. Like, it would be very stupid if it just throws me into, like... Jisoo-young, yeah, if it just throws me into, like, just, you know, Oh, yeah, it's another day. Here, go about doing your own goddamn thing. It's like, no, I need to take care of my animals, my babies. What's wrong? <laughs> I don't know, like, how, what did you eat? Did you eat the chestnuts, maybe? Maybe? 그래도 형은 토하고 괜찮아졌지만 얼룩 토끼는 정말 죽었다 살아난 것 같은데? <gasps> oh, no! 닥쳐! 귀인이라는 게 그걸 음식이라고 먹이려고 해? 정신 나간 거 아니야? Like I said, she didn't Google this shit, all right? Okay, maybe you are right. She's a little bit on the dumb side, but you know what? Like, this is just one incident. Yeah, then what? Why? Why is everyone? Why are those two guys okay? 도련님은 안에 있는 사과만 골라 드셨으니까요. Oh, okay, okay. 그러고 보니 저두 토끼는 왜 말짱한 거야? I know, maybe because they're more educated. They sound more educated. <laughs> 작은 토끼는 사과밖에 안 먹고 큰 토끼는 브로콜리밖에 안 먹었어. Uh huh. Then it's either the chestnuts. The carrots that are probably rotten, maybe I don't know, or the aloe juice. 채, 변식하기는. Well, at least they they're they're picky, but it saved them. 먹고 토하는 것보다는 낫지 않아? I know, right? 사람이 아무거나 잘 먹어야지. 아 물론 음식이 안전하다는 전제 하에. That is true, but you're like a goddamn cat. You should have known what's good for you and what's not. 아니면 나처럼 아예 안 먹거나? <laughs> that's true. That's true. 그런 고양이 놈들 망할 주인 다 마음에 안 들어 다 짜증나. Of course you are. 야, 너 자꾸 짜증 낼래? 그래도 밥 주인이 우리를 위해서 만들어 준 거라고. 아, 뭐, 뭐 물론 조금 위험하긴 했지만 난 일부러 우리를 챙겨준 마음은 고맙다고 생각해. Oh, Jesus still appreciates my effort even though I nearly killed him. <laughs> 그런 독국물을 만들 바에는 차라리 안 만드는 게 세계 평화를 위한 거거든. I'm sorry. God damn. I didn't know. I don't own a cat or a rabbit before. I don't know what's good for them or not. 그래도 주인 누나가 열심히 만들었는데. I put my heart into this. Okay, it's the feelings that counted, like Jesus said. 넌 먹지도 않았잖아. I know, but he appreciated my thought. Is what I'm saying. 사과 더 먹고 싶어. Oh yeah. Oh, I wish I had more to give for you. 우리를 위하는 마음은 감사하게 생각하고 있습니다. Yeah. 사과. 사과. 먹진 않았지만 난 마음속으로 주인 누나한테 고맙다고 인사했다고. See, see, even, even that makes me feel better. See, I, I'm not gonna be mad at that. Even if you did eat my, my food, it's alright. 제대로 된 음식을 만들어야 고맙다는 생각이 들지. Okay, I will. God, this is my first time having the furry babies, alright? I'm still learning. 근데 밥 주인. What do you mean by that? 변하다니, yeah, like have I become more caring for you or something? Or maybe like, you know, Ji Jung, like I said, like after a lot of the instances, she's starting to learn that, oh yeah, maybe she doesn't have to be so uptight and shit. 예전에는 그냥 좀 기계적으로 챙겨주는 느낌이었는데, 요즘에는 많이 다정해졌다고 말까? Oh yeah, that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because she did have the plan to like eventually give them up to the shelter, but now it's like, yeah, she's genuinely, genuinely, like feels like feels happy to be with them, or to have them. Yeah. Hmm. 확실히 좀 그런 것 같긴 해. 예전 같았으면 요리도 안 해줬을 거야. Well, I didn't. Well, that's not exactly what you call cooking, but alright. 차라리 기계적이었을 때가 나. 이젠 밥도 가려서 먹어야 할 판이라고. <sighs> I'll be careful next time, Jiwoo. God damn it. 하긴, 주인 누나가 밝아진 건 토끼니 발바닥에 영향이 컸던 것 같아. <laughs> I know your toe beans are adorable. I can't help but squeeze them. 이 고양이가 진짜. <laughs> 역시 그녀는 조금 변했어. All right, at least like they visibly see a change in us. 예전에는 없었던. So maybe, you know, we can start progressing, you know, the whole romantic aspect of the story. Uh -huh. Alright, there we go. August 15th is the next day. I got, uh, Heejung, I'm surprised you didn't check up on the cats and the, the check up on Jisoo and Jiwoo. Be like, oh my god, are you guys alive? <laughs> okay, yay, so we maxed out our, uh, our heart again, so we can do another activity.
We can either watch a documentary, dress up, or cook. Let's cook. We need to work on our cooking skills. God damn it, after nearly killing two of our animals in one go, I think we should learn on our culinary skills. All right. So my pressure's up a bit. I feel like then I should probably go study. Let's go study. Oh, he brought something shiny. What's that? A hairpin? Oh, you cute. Oh, what the hell? Ji Yun brought you an expensive hairpin. Guys, <laughs> where did you even find this? Did I did I have this all along? What? It looks pretty expensive. It looks like a designer brand. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention uh, to you guys that yeah, uh, every single time I think. Our first, the first instant that, instance that this happened, like whenever we go into an area where Ji Yun is, like whether he's alone or with other other cats or other bunnies and stuff like that, he kind of approaches us first and like brings us a whole shit ton of like random objects to us. Like last time it was a mag, like it was a really popular magazine that he bought us, and then now he's bringing us a hairpin. Oh yeah, last time he bought us money, he bought us five dollars. Oh my gosh, can you bring me more money? <laughs> All right, let's. Draw the art room and shit. All right. I still haven't decreased my pressure, but where am I? Forty-six points. Oh my god. Okay, but I wanna. Okay, you know what? Let's watch an educational channel. All right, and then yeah. Which uh, this is pro this problem is difficult. There we go. Our pressure decrease, and yeah. Even though I should have probably tried to like interact with Jian, but like I need to decrease my pressure. Before it gets out of hand. Alright. Everything I do, my pressure increases. Alright, let's go to the bedroom. Let's try to encounter Jion. Jion, are you here? Jioni. Maybe I should do something different today. I sat in front of my dressing table. My makeup looks good today. Yeah, it makes me please. Ah, uh, yeah. I look in hella good. Eyebrows on fleek. Alright. I should really increase my heart meter with this guy. Okay, let's go out with Jion then. Since we haven't been doing stuff at home with him, we should go out with him. Let's go to the park and let's try to find stamps. Is this fine weather makes me want to enjoy the nature? I should go for a walk with Jion. Alright. Yep, as if he knew he was going to the park. G1, G1, G1. 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 <laughs> that like totally tripped me out. Jion gently wags his tail side to side. Wags his tail. I thought only dogs could do that. Yeah. Did Jion just eat grass? So I'll just watch him. I'm worried about him. Or concern, I approached Gion. I haven't. I don't think. I, I don't think I've done this choice yet. Oh, he was just rubbing his face against the grass. Wow, you definitely need to take a bath. Yeah. Let's look around. <gasps> no stamps. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. God damn it. Fucking Christ. But anyways, whatever. Gion and I enjoyed the warm sunlight. I'm glad we made a small memory together. Let's just go home now. It always makes me feel better to be with Gion, who is always wearing a smile. I'll give you a bath when we go home, Gion, because you love baths. Alright. Where am I now? I was at 46 points. Oh, we got progression in the story again! Wow, okay, wow, dang, dang. Oh, the summer beach is pa is just packed with people. Are we all here with the animals? High school students on their scooters, people from other countries taking sun baths, families on vacation. It will probably be like this until the beginning of September. Yeah, I can see the crashing waves under the beach umbrella that I had rented. I want to go into the water, but I have to stay and take care of the animals. Oh, it's alright. I could hear people screaming whenever a big wave came. <sighs> Aw, yeah. It's nice to relax. I haven't gone on vacation since I began to live alone, because you're so busy with your life. I visited the beach only once when I was young, and that's when my dad was here. Mom didn't want to go into the water because she was afraid of getting tan, and I played, and I played with dad instead. I don't remember too well, it was such a long time ago. Back then, mom was smiling. Aww, mom was so beautiful and nice when she was younger. Oh, Aww, oh. ow, gee, honey. Maybe her mom turned into a complete bitch because, you know, like after her dad divorced her, I guess. Then, uh, you know, she just started getting, feeling bitter about everything. Jihei and Jia. Jihei and Jian are sitting under the shade looking at the ocean. Jiwoo hasn't even come out of the basket. Oh, you being salty. Jisoo and Jian are running around under the sun. Oh, actually, Jisoo is chasing Jian and Jian is trying to run away. <laughs> cute. That's cute. Or maybe Jiwoo just doesn't want to get a bunny tan either. <laughs> they look so cute. The pets got me to go out today. It would be a shame if I didn't show them this beautiful ocean. Yeah, look at the ocean. But I. 
but I wouldn't have bothered to go if I were alone. Yeah. Yeah, the beach is nice. I mean, I'm not so much of a beach person. Like, I stay underneath the umbrella all the time, too. <laughs> Beaches in the summer are always lively and fun. Yeah. Okay. Children. A boy shouted at his mom. I turned around and saw a family eating lunch together. Ah, what a happy family. Family and the beach. And now she's gonna feel all sad and depressed because she's like, my family used to be like that. And then mom turned into a bitch and dad left me alone. Yep. Oh. <laughs> uh. We were such a happy family back then. But it never happened. Because shit just, yeah, went downhill. Yeah, not really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mom. Don't like, don't crush my hopes up so like, so, so fast. Alright, oh, Papa, Papa. Happy times, happy times. Uh, we promised we'd come back the following year, but I never got to spend the summer with Dad again because he left. Oh! <laughs> what? Something furry suddenly hopped onto my lap. Oh! Oh my! Oh, oh it's Gioni! Gioni! I need to hug you because I feel all sad and nostalgic and sad. Giona! Giona! He must have come to me in order to avoid Jisoo. Jisoo gave Gion a look and growled softly. Hey now, play nicely. Gion's looking down on Jisoo with triumphant eyes. Gion, 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 and Jihei sitting together in the shade, looked at the cats as if to call them pathetic, because they probably are. Jiwoo folded his ears as if to silently protest against the cat's racket. Yeah, he probably is. Uh, <laughs> we got one big happy family. What would these animals look like if they were human? They already have such interesting relations among themselves. Haha, <laughs> funny you say that! Because it might just happen pretty soon, I hope. The sudden thought made me smile. Oh, ho, ho. so that's what you think, huh? <laughs> if they all turned into humans, things would be interesting. Oh, be careful what you wish for. How would it feel if How would it feel if they looked at me into my eyes and talked to me like humans? Well, they already do talk like humans, so like they're halfway there. Would I be able to feel as relaxed in front of them as I am now? Well, I don't think so because they're gonna be turn They're gonna turn into like pretty boys. So, yeah. Of course, it'll never happen. <laughs> but if it does, things will certainly be interesting. Hey, hey, hint, hint, nudge, nudge, wizard. I think it's about time you do that. Make me regret my thoughts, hee <laughs> hee. And now I'm saying. Alright. Am I, am I up with the meter for Gion? How's my, I hate myself for like, feeling under pressure all the time, girl. Girl, why you gotta feel under pressure? <gasps> I need one more point with this guy. <laughs> okay, let's encounter him. Somewhere, somehow, some way. Uh, let's... Draw? Maybe draw. No! <laughs> the slotted rabbit. Alright, whatever. I'll, I'll pat you. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't think he likes patting. Do you like patting? Pat your pawsies! Nope, he don't like it. I see, I'm sorry. The spotted rabbit sat next to me. The spotted rabbit is looking at my picture. Is it my imagination? He seems to disprove of my work. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I did encounter Gion, and I'm like one point away from maxing out. Come on, girl. Try harder. <laughs> okay, I think I can encounter him here. I'm going to get that last point. If that's the last thing I do. Yes! I'm gonna hug you. Hugs! I feel warm when I hug Gion because he's so cute. Gion jumped onto the couch. Gion is playing on my lap, and Gion is such a cute little cat. Uh, yeah, that's that's it, yeah. Okay, so I maxed out his points for sure this time. Alright, August 22nd, yeah, spent the day reading magazine. How's my pressure? Ah, oh, my pressure! 
<laughs> I know he needs. I know she needs to study. I know. I know. I know. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Study. God damn it. Study. <laughs> study. I decided to go through my business textbook. I noticed once again how thick the economics books is. Will we? Will we really be able to cover all this in just one semester? No. I highly doubt it. But you need to study. All right. All right. All right. All right. So Thursday. Wow, our summer vacation is just going by so quickly. So we got max points. Let's encounter Dion again. And like, you know, just hug him. Just continuously hug him. I feel warm when I hug Dion. Yeah, I was taking a bath when I spotted Dion. Dion jumped into the bubbles. Are you okay, Dion? Oh my gosh. Phew, Dion is happily meowing. Yeah, he really likes baths for a cat. Wow, all right. Alrighty then. Okay, maybe we should wait till the weekend or something to go out. So there we go. So all of our things level 5. Let's see our stats, our status with Jian. We have 3 hearts with him, 6 stamps. I really want to find more stamps. <laughs> and then uh, what else was there to like look at? I don't think we've like increased anything. I think we're supposed to keep our pressure and, and, and stress to level 1. Like, we don't want to overstress her and stuff. That wouldn't make sense. Anyways, let's just... Let's just do something. I don't know. Uh, how about let's try our makeup? Maybe I should do something different today. I sat in front of my dressing table. I put my eyelashes up with a curler and... Ow, oh, it's going really well today. Wow. Alright, I'm getting so much better with my makeup. I can be a beauty guru. Open up a YouTube channel. Alright, it's Saturday. We should go out with Gion. Try to find more stamps with this guy. Hopefully at the beach? Maybe. I don't know. Summer would be officially over. Yep. Yeah. You wanna go to the beach with me? You bet you do. Alright. Let's, uh, let's let him be this time. I was watching Gion in concern when I saw that a huge wave was coming towards him. I was about to yell his name out and run towards him, but the wave barely missed him. Phew, that was a close call. He can handle himself. Let's look around. Yes! Stamp! Yes! I found a stamp. I'm gonna collect the shell because I feel good. And yeah, let's go home now. Let's go home. Alright. G and I were playing in the sand. Yep. Let's get, go home. Big waves. Splash on the sands. Alright. Alrighty then. August 26th. Let's go to work. We haven't been to work in a while, and I feel like we can't do anything mo more with maxing out his points, so yeah. And we found, like, we already found, um, a stamp. And I think, like, it's every every one day that we find a stamp per day. So, let's make some money. And then it's Monday, and then spend some time drawing and shit, and my pressure's up again, and holy shit, oh god. Alright, so let's decrease my pressure by watching an educational program. I reached my hand for the remote and turned on the educational channel. How can a question be this difficult? High school students these days must be ha must have a really hard time at school. No kidding. All right. Next day, it's Tuesday, and our summer vacay is almost over. Oh my god, we gotta go back to school. I don't want to. Anyways, let's go, let's go encounter Gion again. Because, yeah, I'm just gonna hug you. Taking a bubble bath, and Gian is meowing next to the tub. Do you want to come in too? Oh, yeah. Yay! <laughs> okay, alright. August 29th is a Wednesday. Blah, 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 blah. Yep, pressure's alright. Ooh, we're in the kitchen now. He's in the kitchen now, so let's... Let's, uh, let's try to encounter, encounter him in the kitchen. Or, like... He's usually by the fridge. <gasps> Whoa! Arrange meaty, arrange veggies. Let's arrange meats. <laughs> fridge arrangement changed. Alright. That's strange. Did that do something? Oh my gosh, I don't even know. I don't even know. Anyways, it's almost a month now, you guys. It's two months now. Holy shit. Alright, let's try encountering Gion again. Just for the heck of it. Even though we can't do anything more with our, with our um, with points with points with him. I'm tired, maybe I should take a rest. I vacantly stayed at the living room wall. The wallpaper has flower prints. Alright, never mind. Didn't encounter him, but whatever. 
What ifs? August 31st, almost a month, you guys. Okay, she's at cram school. My pressure's increasing again. I should study. It's the perfect time to study, and Gion's in the, the premise anyway. So I decided to study through my business textbook. I finished studying, I stretched my arms and legs out when I felt something soft under my feet. It's a spotted rabbit. Why is he here? Why the hell are you under there? God. Alright, anyways, there we go. We got some we got some shit going on now. <laughs> Oops. I choked on my spit. Yep, August is over. What does this mean for us? School starts next Monday. Yep. Summer vacation's over. Although I did get pretty busy with various activities during summer vacation too. I didn't expect the three months of vacation to pass by this quickly. Yeah, you're telling me. I can't believe the second semester of my senior year is here already. It seems like yesterday when I first entered school. I know. I know, girl. I feel ya. I feel ya. I can't even think of what kind of work I would like to get. I, I would like to get into after graduation. I don't know either. So I'm planning to take if it. So I'm planning to take uh, insufficient credits for graduation so that I can attend school for one more sem one more semester. Uh, just stay in school for as long as you can. It sounds better than to be called a college student rather than an unemployed person. Uh, yeah. I feel pathetic purposely delaying myself from going into society. Well, I don't blame you, girl. Come on. But I really don't know. My major doesn't interest me, neither does business, and I still don't know what I want to do. Yeah. Oh my god, girl. I feel you on like a spiritual level. But I can't just get a job anywhere either. Others put off their decisions for the future by going abroad to study or studying at a law school, but law is so boring. Am I going to end up becoming one of them? Maybe. I became independent from mom and moved to Busan to avoid the to avoid that exact situation. I thought that as time passes, I would be able to find my dream and live with passion. I thought I would do some. I thought I would someday find my calling. This is what I want to do. Yeah, I know, girl. I I, I feel ya. But that wasn't the case. A long time has passed, and I still don't know what I want to do. So that's why I'm even more afraid. Aww. That I'll be rejected by mom, by society, and eventually I'll be left. I'll be left behind alone. I know, girl. I feel you. Oh my god, I feel you. Another endless route begins tomorrow, and I don't have the courage to get out of that life yet. I know. God damn. Oh, is it the wizard? Is the wizard gonna come? Hello. Mm. Yep. Is it because I said the whole thing where it's like, oh, it'd be very interesting if they became humans? Yeah. Oh, really? So it's like once I hit rock bottom, then the only place it can go was up, kind of thing? Is that what you were trying to get me to do? And then that's how you grant me my wish? Oh my god, guys. I have a feeling this might be it. This this must be it. Oh my god. Oh <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't I don't care if you think that you're causing me any hindrance and problems right now, but like you're doing me a huge favor. Thank God. Thank the Lord. Oh it's fall! Hey, we changed season. Yes, it makes sense because yeah, it's September first. <laughs> Alright. <gasps> oh my god, we got we're starting this guy. It's happening. It oh. is happening. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I'm getting really excited. Alright, I don't know if I should end it here, you guys, though. This is such a good spot to end it, but like, I really want to get this done. Okay, let's go for a little bit more. Let's just go for just a little bit more. Okay, alright, alright. Gianna is acting particularly strange today. I wonder why. He's been crying since the morning. Why? What's wrong? Tell me, I gave him some food thinking he th thinking that he was hungry, but it didn't help at all. What? No. What? Where? I examined him carefully I examined him caref carefully, but he didn't seem to have a particular problem. His eyes are sparkling as usual. Maybe he's hungry? But you already just said you fed him. Ugh. Oh, uh, Gianni, no. tell me what's wrong. Are you feeling the tingles? Are you gonna become a human now? Is that it? Is that one of the symptoms? And he cries even louder whenever I try to go anywhere. It's like dealing with a baby. You just don't know what they want. And they all just do his wail. I can't concentrate on my studies or anything because of his crying. Yeah. <laughs> it's like having a kid. It's like an actual child. Oh, hairy baby. It's just 
exactly what you are. He kept crying, looking into my eyes. What do you want me to do? Kiss you like a frog prince? Uh, maybe... Can this be that... What? The thing that I read on the book about cats a few days ago. Oh, is he maybe in heat? I don't know. Is that a thing? Oh. The cycle that comes to them after they're a year old. <gasps> right, yeah. So maybe she's figuring anything. Are you like... Okay, no. you want a lady friend? Like, I can't- okay, uh, what, do you, what do you want me to do? I picked Gion up with trembling hands. <coughs> Girl, don't you think about like fucking neutering him at this very moment. I don't think that's gonna be good for any of you, for the both of you. Oh god, oh god. Oh girl, oh girl. Mm -mm. Okay, it's lunchtime, but like seriously girl. A sign above the counter says lunch until 1300, so around 1 o'clock. It's 1240, I'll just have to wait a few minutes. For a few minutes. I sat on a bench and put Gion on my lap. Oh my god, I am so sorry. What's about to happen next is probably gonna traumatize you forever. Yep. <laughs> oh god. I've never had a pet before, so I have no idea what I should do when something like this happens. I did read some books about animals after I decided to keep them, but what's in theory and in practice are different, I know. I'm going to have to ask the vet a lot of questions today. Yeah. What? <laughs> Jiyeon gently curled up on my lap. I stroked Jiyeon's back. Are you tired or something? Yeah. He can't help but just- He can't help but to just cry because he can't speak, you poor thing. I hope the doctor will find out what's wrong with him. I so stressful being a mother. I'm worried. I lifted my head and looked out the window. Uh, it's September, fall has already arrived. When Jian becomes alright, I'll take him to the park before it gets cold. Unlike other cats, Jian enjoys taking a walk outside. Yeah. Wait a little, wait just a little bit more, you'll feel better soon. Or watch him just talk right now? Then I would be able to know whether you're sick or want to go somewhere and all that. But that's impossible, of course. <laughs> yeah! Oh, there we go! <laughs> there he goes! Huh? What was that just now? I looked down to- I looked down at where the voice came from. What? Boya? Yeah? <laughs> oh, oh my god! <laughs> Jesus, that's really sudden. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Your, it's your dear Gion! Your cutie pie Gion! Oh my! <laughs> a strange guy was lying on the bench with his head on my lap. Bright orange hair, pointy cat ears, and round large eyes. Oh, oh my Whoa. goodness gracious. I, right here out in public? Oh jo god. What? What? What's going on? I don't know, girl, but I we've got our wish come true! Who is he? He's Gion! Do you not recognize him? And where is Gion? Well, he, you're looking at him. And the cat uh, and the cat ears on his head, they're moving. Am I dreaming? No, you're not. Luna, Luna. Yeah, I see that. Oh my goodness gracious. Are, are you talking to me? Yeah, duh. I pinch my cheek. Ah, ouch. Yeah, ouch. <laughs> Oh, it hurts. Uh, it's not. It is not a dream. Gionia. No, no way. It can't be. Gioni. Oh my goodness! Where? You're adorable. The guy looked straight at me and answered. Okay, so like, if he turns human, then like, what about the rest of the other guys? Would they be- would they kind of be like in Nameless where they're included but they're in like more of a background character? Or like, are they still- would they still be animals and it's just him? I have no idea. Mm. No, it's not. Oh my god, at least you got clothes on though. <laughs> yeah, basically. It's the next Harry Potter shit right here. It's not just uncommon, it's impossible. This can never happen in reality, an animal changing into a person? I know, right? Alright, okay, so then that means that they should be human too? Well, don't faint on the, the bench right now, girl. 
그게 그렇게 못 믿어온 일이야? 우리한테는 I'm sure 그게 불통인데. Let me just take it in, alright? His cat ears were twitching as he as he was speaking. How can there be cat ears on his head because he was a cat? 집에 있는 동물들이 전부 다 너처럼 사람으로 yep. 변할 수 있다고? Oh, faces of Jisoo, Jihae, Jiwoo, and Jiyeon flashed through my head. Come to think of it, all of them were in one basket from the very beginning. The five animals that someone left in my room. I thought it was strange, but I know, right? To this extent. Hmm. Ah, uh, 근데 지금까지는 동물로 지냈어야 했어. 그게 게임의 규칙이거든. Oh, so you're 규칙이거든. part of this game as well. All right. Yeah, they did mention they they were part of this game. All right. All right. Yes. Game. What game? Hmm. Game. Of course not. I figured. Game, game, rules. He keeps talking about something that I don't understand. It's like a dream. Yes, it must be a dream. I can't understand anything that this guy who claims that he's Jion is saying. Well, no, before that. Right? Are, are you? Or you are from... I don't know. It sounds like a stupid question, but it's a basic problem. I know, right? Apparently he's speaking in Korean, but he does not look like a Korean at all. Yeah, yeah, you you do have a point. And his ears. Yep, that's another obvious dead giveaway. Alright, <laughs> I see. It's so absurd to see him speak in Korean when he looks so exotic. Yeah. And what does he mean by a contract? Well, I don't know, maybe it's just the perk of, you know, being part of this game. Okay, alright, alright. Uh-huh. I figured that much. It's, magic is always so convenient. Nope, but it's true. You're now in the world of Harry Potter. But I'm clearly seeing him with my own two eyes, yeah. Now that I think about it, it's a bit scary. Why? I thought they were just my pets, but they were actually humans. I know, right? That's just the, the, the shocking bit. Who on earth left them in my room? Um, an ethereal being called the wizard. Then there really is such a thing as magic? Yes. No, no way. Yeah. Uh-huh. No. Uh, oh, there she goes. <laughs> there she goes. She fainted. I began to have flashbacks of what I did in front of the animals. Oh right, yeah, you did bathe in front of them, you probably changed in front of them, yeah. Going around the house in my pajamas, going into my room naked after taking a shower. As all the memories of my embarrassing moments came back to me, I wanted to hide somewhere, yep. Ay, wai, wai. Ah, Jian suddenly came right up to me and linked his arms with mine. Well, what? I'm just trying to let this all sink in, baby. God. Oh, there I go. There I go. I almost lost my balance as he pulled me up. Sure. Oh, God. Right. There is no reason to stay at the veterinary clinic anymore. Yeah. No reason to neuter him. <laughs> it's still unbelievable, but an animal just changed into a human. I know. Well, at least I don't have to worry about feeding you anymore and like poisoning you by accident. Before I knew it, I was led by Jian, who had on a bright smile. He he's crossing his arm with mine. Oh, oh. Well, uh, look at you! You're like straight out of a medieval book or some shit, like a fairy tale book. Exactly. You need to change your clothes. You look strange. Oh, oh. Uh, of course he knows your name. Like, he's been living with you for like two months now. What? Shiro? Yeah, that's true. Oh. Alright, shut up. Just let me just, I'm being dumb right now, just let me take this in. I still wasn't fully convinced, but the guy knows my name. Do I really have to believe that he's Jion? Well, he has fucking cat ears on his head, like, hello. Jian is extremely cheerful, just as he was as a cat. Uh, cosplay. Yes. Yeah. I know, he's a, he's a pro. He's a professional cosplayer. Uh-oh, maybe we shouldn't be going around with his ears revealed. Yeah, put on a hood or some shit. 
여기 사람들은 다 동물들이 He said here, does that mean he's not from Earth? I'm pretty sure not. There is no place in this world where an animal turns into a human. Hey, what's up? Do I now? Cute. <laughs> Thanks. I don't think it's the problem of looking cute. Oh, <laughs> so stress. Stress! <laughs> There were many fun incidents since I started to raise the animals, but this one tops the cake. This one takes the cake, huh? But I had no idea that things would become like this. I'm just. I just cannot believe what I'm seeing. Oh? Uh? Uh? Yeah, just. What? Why am I signing? Oh, I think he's. I think he's still a little bit like, you know, his Korean isn't all that great. So I thought that was a typo as well. Like he meant sighing, but he's saying signing. <laughs> It's cute of him. Maybe his Korean is still poor. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Ah. Hmm. Where? You're so cute. You're still very cute, though. Ah, he must still have poor speaking skills. Maybe the magic is limited. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. Just, just let me think. Let me brace myself when I come home to a whole, like a whole bunch of you. Just. Wandering around. 걱정은 보따리 내셔. 누나는 내가 지켜줄게. Sweetie, have no bear, have, have no fear. You mean it's definitely a familiar expression, but his choice of words is a bit off. Yeah. 걱정은 붙들어 매라고. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like this is gonna happen a lot. Ah. <laughs> At least we get him. 너 말이 좀쳐들구나 <laughs> 음. 근데 가끔은 귀엽게 보이려고 일부러 well, 틀리게 no 말한대. Well, it's better to look, it's better to speak properly than to like make mistakes and have everyone like think you're dumb on purpose. Yeah, make mistakes on purpose. I almost tripped at those words. Make mistakes on purpose to look cute. Yeah. What's that supposed to mean? Yeah. Why did you do that? I'm already having a normal conversation with this strange cat. It's definitely an unbelievable situation, but his cat ears are alive and moving in front of me, and his personality reminds me of reminds me strongly of Jiyeon. Yeah, so let's just go with it. Somehow, I feel a bit comfortable around him. It, is it because we've lived together? Maybe. Can he really be Jiyeon? I mean, there's no other explanation. Oh, alright, that explains it. Uh huh. Does magic really exist? Well, here's the living proof. The word I never thought existed in reality continues to revolve around in my mind now. Luna, yes, I was. Uh, uh, what, is that a problem? Uh, maybe. Uh, or something, I don't know. Oh. That's... that is... How am I supposed to tell him that I thought he was in heat? <laughs> That's too true! See, this way we had the exact same thought. Alright, alright, cool, cool. Cool, cool, Hee Jung. Uh, wait, no. wait. Uh, as I avoided the question, we arrived home. Alright, here we go. I heard I heard unfamiliar voices coming from the house. Alright, so they are, they are they are people now. There's a party yeah. in my house, and I'm not invited. Why? What are these sounds? Yeah, I hurriedly opened the front door and could not believe what I saw. This can't be happening. Oh, but it is. It is. <gasps> da, 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 da. Hey, party. Hey, mother people. Then everybody just. Yep. Hey, wow. All y'all. Oh my gosh. You, you all look like some sort of boy band. Oh, look at you. So cute. Turned into humans. Yep. Damn, this is too real to be a dream, and, but it's too much of a dream to be real. Yay! Oh my god, okay, I'm gonna leave it all here, you guys. This is a good spot to leave this episode. We finally got to see them turn into people! Finally! Jesus Christ, it only took like 
three episodes, four episodes. Oh my god, we're on the fourth one. And they're finally people. That means I can just stop being creepy with them because they're, they were animals and kitties and bunnies before. But now they're actually guys. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna leave it here, you guys. And then we can continue on the, our next adventure with them as people now. So I wonder what that will entail. So until then, you guys, I'm really super excited. I'm trying to hold myself back from continuing on, but you know what? It's gonna go. It's gonna. It's gonna. You know, be like six hours long. So I'm gonna stop here while I still have some self-control. So yes, I will see you guys in the next episode. Then, bye.